left the body, it will come back. So this is part 2 of our tutorial series loading of Ajax data based on page scroll down movement. So to begin with I created a folder by name Ajax crawl under htdocs and inside that there is the img folder where we are storing all the product images which, which we will be making use in our project k okay? and then we have jquery library and style.css file don't worry about this file because I will be posting this in my website and you will find a link to that in the description ok so I will open this project in sublime text ok and this index.php file is pretty basic I link the CSS file in the star and we have jquery library included ok and then we have space to write our jquery code and other than that in the body tag we have a div with id products where we will be storing all the products ok and then we have another div with id header where we will be displaying our header message so then we have this database i created a database table products under the database name test and as you guys can see here we have four fields ok name image and price and the image here the image names here stored in the product image should match exactly with the image names product image names we have in this img folder right so to start with first thing we need to do is to get the total number of rows in the database we know it is 27 here but we need to get that programmatically right so first thing I'm going to do is to require a file <coughs> row count ok so under row count this row count is going to return as the total number of rows available in a database but we have to create that file and I am going to create a function ok inside this the function name will be row count and we will be using PDO for all our database operations so first thing I am going to do is define some constant ok I will copy this couple of times and this should be username and the third one should be password and since uh, the username will be root and there is no password here and dsn actually got three parameters first thing is database that is mysql and then colon and next thing to do is to get the uh, db name which is test remember and other than that I am sorry second parameter should be host ok the host is going to be local host so that is all and we don't need this part here and next thing to do is to establish the actual database connection ok and I will be using try catch for that it's pdo exception ok we will make it as a variable here and it is going to be get message which is a pdo inbuilt function to display the message ok we'll echo this if there is any error then inside try we had to establish the actual database connection ok so I'm going to have an object db and it is going to be new pdo and takes the three parameters dsn username and password ok so that is all we need to establish a PDO connection next thing to do is we have to write our SQL queries ok ok 
So a query is going to be select star from products. Okay. Remember we have products table here, right? And our DB name is test. Okay. Now we have to start executing the query, right? Again, I'll be using this try catch. And here, going to be a variable by name statement, and we'll be writing the actual query, okay? It's DB query, and we already have the SQL query in our variable SQL, right? Okay, and the next thing to do is to get the row count, okay? For that, we'll be using our PHP inbuilt function row count right and we'll assign this to a variable called row count now we have to make sure if if this database query returns any row count which we'll do by if row count we also need an else okay if it is there if there is any row count available then we'll do return row count okay if not we'll just return false so this is all we need to have our database return the total number of rows from the table okay now let's test that I'm going to do echo function name is row count remember okay so we'll see how it goes now okay we got 27 rows here so it's working right and okay the next thing to do is we need to declare some variables here in our jQuery to process further okay I'm going to declare a variable called total records and the total records we have that result right here remember so what I'm going to do is make this as a variable I'm assigning that result sorry I'm going to assign that result in row count variable okay now inside this I'm going to echo that variable so we get by this we are going to get the total number of rows from database to a jQuery variable right you could test this out if you want total record okay Okay, that's working so we are able to create a database which returns the total number of rows and we were able to get that inside a jQuery variable right so the next thing to do is to get the to establish the total number of page records we need in a page okay so that's going to be I'm going to set that as 9 okay records per page and with this total record and records per page we should be able to successfully calculate the total number of pages that is going to have in our scroll down moment okay each scroll will load one page okay that's what we are going to do so number of pages equal to total records divided by records per page okay but I'm going to include this in math.c function okay we don't want any floating point values right so let's 
we'll try to test this out as well okay number of pages Okay, we got three which is fine because we have the total number of page records is 27 divided by records per page 9 which is 3 right so so far it's good and next thing is to initialize the current page okay so initially when the page loads the current page is going to be 1 okay and then we need the start record for our database which is we do do that by current page multiplied by records per page okay minus records per page So we'll test this out as well. Start okay, we got zero and let's see how we got that. The current page is initially one, right? Multiplied by records per page is nine. So one into nine is nine and again minus nine right records per page which is zero so this is working perfect so guys uh, i'm going to stop this part here and in the next part we are going to finish off the further things okay and if you guys like our video please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this video so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for your time